Right, okay, looking a little bit better. I've got the uh, collector sort of on there, and he still needs a little bit of tidying up. And what I've done is I've got the flange for the head tacked on a couple of uh, pipes so I can locate the uh, collector. And then just tacked it on. And that will allow me now, now to uh, make the pipes to uh, do this manifold. So I'll get them tacked together. Uh, I know it's going to take a lot of trial and error, but that's what these things need. Okay, so I got the manifold tacked up. Took hours of uh, chopping and changing to try and get uh, it working as best as I could. Um, restrictions I had was uh, where the turbo mounts, the downpipe will be coming out and a down and around this area. So I've had to shove everything sort of this side. Um, I've tried to make them as equal length as possible. Um, it's not perfect, but it's not far off. Uh, so we can see like I'll have like three nineties, two forty fives, and then a straight piece, and then three nineties, two forty fives, and a straight piece, and things like that. So in this one, I've only got one forty five. I've got two straight pieces, so. The one straight piece is 145. Uh, it's there or thereabouts. It's not far away. So, clearances are tight, and I haven't done the external wastegate on there yet. Um, so, but what I'm going to do is wait until I get this all mounted on the car, and I can see exactly uh, what space I've got and where I can locate the wastegate. I am trying to reuse the one I've already got. However, this is it's an old unit now. It's obviously big. You can get some smaller ones. Thinking about possibly replacing that. But we'll see. Um, another thing I'm going to have to do, I think, is replace this flange that I've got. Because I don't know if it will show up. Hang on, let's get a bit of, uh, bit of wood. Just tacking it together, and it has warped somewhat terrible. So if I hold it on the right there, you can see, look, the space I got that side down. Now, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think bolting it down and welding it up and getting it hot again will reshape it. So I might, uh, might just get another flange and replace it. Um, I make sure I bolt it down before I do anything else. So yeah, so that's a, that's the uh, that's the manifold as it sits now. I'm going to fit it to the car and see what uh, clearance we got. Right, with the manifold uh, chucked back onto the car, you can see all of the uh, clearance I got down the back. So uh, this is what I said about the downpipe. That's the only space I've got to fit it. So uh, hopefully the downpipe will come off down here, loop back to the centre of the car to get out the tunnel in the middle there, which is why I've left as much space as I can. That was just the old uh, coolant feed to the turbo, so obviously that will need modification. And then what will happen is, is the turbo housing will sit on here, like that. And obviously, uh, yeah, that's where the downpipe's going to go. The housing looks smaller and smaller every time I uh, pick it up and try and do anything with it. So yeah, so now I obviously need to try and locate where the wastegate's going to go. I'm not sure, I don't think that's going to be enough room to get down there. Um, whether I can attach it back into the downpipe here or somewhere before it goes... Uh, back down that would be uh, interesting to say the least maybe I'll come all the way out down the side this way and down the gap there well, obviously I've got to run an oil return and things like that as well so yeah fun and games
but the uh, the main thing is the manifold's done. I might try and well tack it together. I might try and get underneath and see what the see what it looks like from underneath just to double check clearances. And here we go from underneath the uh, underneath the car. That's the what it looks like from underneath. You can see we've got a bit of clearance between the block there. We've got uh, it's just my old oil drain. Then we've got um, ballast and bolts just in there, which looks like we can still just about get on those. I couldn't before with the old setup, so that's a that's a bonus. So that is. In there, and then I've got space on this side for the downpipe to sit through. And from the tunnel, not sure how much we'll see, but uh, yeah, so that's up through the tunnel. You can see the bottom of the manifold. That's sort of obviously the downpipe's going to come through. But yeah, it looks, it looks like we should. Oh, it's tight as everything else, but yeah, looks like we've got enough room. And there's a couple of bolt holes here on the block that I can use for um, mounting up some stabilizer uh, sort of brackets just to obviously stop the whole thing ripping itself apart when uh, under acceleration. So, yeah, they're happy. Right, back off the car again. So what I need to do is obviously uh, take it apart, take the pipes off one by one, get them purged up. I did run out of gas completely on my uh, TIG welder, so I was just uh, I quickly got the MIG out just to uh, just to tack it together, so at least I know where I'm going with it. Uh, so yeah, so I have to take them all apart, give them all a good clean up, get some gas, some argon. And get this welded up. I think it will be the be the next video. All right. Cheers then.